Sometimes we feel like Google is watching everything we do online. Emails, files, notes. Yeah, that's why today's video is going to feel like this is what we want. We're getting into some great, privacy-first apps that do what Google does, but without the creepy tracking or constant ads. From email to calendars and even your two-factor authentication, we found some advanced alternatives that might just change the way you handle your digital life. So, keep on watching. Let's talk about keeping your logins safe. Aegis Authenticator replaced Google Authenticator on all our phones, and we're not looking back. First off, Aegis is open source, which means anyone can check its code and see it's doing what it says. That transparency is hard to find. But what stood out was the backup feature. You can actually save your tokens with encryption, unlike Google's app, which doesn't even let you back them up properly. We had a device switch recently, and restoring everything was painless with Aegis. You also get password and biometric protection, so if someone gets into your phone, they still can't access your tokens. No ads, no tracking, and it's not tied into Google's systems at all. If you're serious about security and tired of apps that hide features behind paywalls, Aegis is a must. Now starting off with email, because honestly, that's where most of our digital stuff begins. We've been using ProtonMail for a while, and here's what stuck with us. Unlike Gmail, Proton doesn't read your emails. That's not a figure of speech, they literally can't. Everything is end-to-end -end encrypted, so even Proton can't peek inside because it's that private. One thing that hit us differently was their self-destruct feature. You send someone a message and poof, it deletes after a time you set. No leftovers, no trail. Plus, you can make email aliases, which helps keep spam away when signing up for random stuff online. There are no ads, no creepy trackers. It works on every platform, and if you're thinking about switching, they have a tool that pulls your old Gmail inbox with just a few clicks. We're also loving the bonus tools. VPN, cloud storage, and even their own calendar, all encrypted. If privacy means anything to you, Proton is not just another inbox. It's where privacy actually starts to matter. Now moving into cloud storage, Terabox surprised us big time. We used Google Drive for years, but the 15 gigabytes of free space runs out quicker than you'd expect. Terabox offers one terabyte, yeah, a whole terabyte, for free. That's the kind of space where you can throw in full movies, giant photo libraries, or even back up your laptop without thinking twice. We tested it with huge video files and it didn't choke. Uploading and sharing were clean and smooth, and we didn't have to worry about compressing stuff just to fit. It's got apps for all devices, so you can check your files whether you're at your desk or on your phone during lunch. While Google Drive sometimes feels like it's poking into your files, Terabox seems more chill about privacy. Although we do wish they'd give a clearer statement on that. But from a regular user's angle, it's been solid. If you're just looking for a large, easy cloud locker that won't nag you to upgrade every week, Terabox has been doing the job well for us. All right, for those of us always writing, planning, or collaborating, CryptPad is one of those apps that quietly grows on you. We used Google Docs for everything until we tried CryptPad. What's different here is privacy. Nothing leaves your device unencrypted. So whether you're writing personal stuff or working on a group project, no server can snoop. We had a little group session on it, writing ideas for a content project, and it felt just like Docs but no one was tracking what we typed. It supports all the main formats, docs, spreadsheets, even slides and code pads. Real-time collaboration works well, and since it's open source, the community behind it keeps it honest. There are no ads popping around or weird suggestions based on your files. It does require an internet connection for live work, but everything feels safer, especially if you're dealing with client documents or sensitive notes. 
Compared to Google Docs, CryptPad gives back control to the user. You're the only one holding the keys, literally. Moving on to note-taking. Notesnook changed the way we write things down. Google Keep always felt fast and convenient, but we never stopped to ask where that data goes. Notesnook locks down everything with encryption before it even touches the cloud. That gave us peace of mind from day one. It works on all platforms, Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS, you name it. You can jot down plain text, drop images. We used it for grocery lists, travel ideas, and even journal style entries, and switching between phone and desktop was just seamless. The offline access came in handy too, like when we were on a flight and needed to pull up our travel plans. Notes sync up once you're back online. No ads, no trackers, and the whole thing is open source. Compared to Keep, Notes Nook feels like it respects your space. You're not just throwing notes into a big system, you're keeping them to yourself. If you're looking to write things down without feeling like it's being scanned, Notes Nook gets that right. Next up is task management. We've been living inside Todoist lately, and let's just say, it's way more than a simple to-do list. Google Tasks always felt too bare bones for our kind of daily chaos. With Todoist, you can organize your workday, side projects, home errands, all under separate labels and priorities. We loved how it lets you break down a task into subtasks, especially when you're dealing with layered projects. You can set reminders, due dates, and even assign things to other people. We used it for a group content calendar, and it kept everything on track. One cool thing? It tracks how consistent you are with this Karma score, which weirdly motivated us to stick with our schedule. Compared to Google Tasks, which often feels like just a digital sticky note, Todoist actually helps manage life in motion. It's not just about writing stuff down, it's about finishing it. Let's move into scheduling with ETAR, which is something we didn't expect to like as much as we did. We've used Google Calendar forever, mostly because it's already there, but ETAR gave us a different kind of vibe. It's simple, clean, and doesn't pull in a million things we didn't ask for. It's open source, so no mystery behind what it's doing with your data. What we liked most was how it works totally offline. You can add events, check your plans, or set reminders even when you're out of service, which really came in handy on a camping trip. It supports CalDAV too, so syncing with other calendars like Fastmail or Nextcloud wasn't a hassle. We noticed no ads, no nudges, and no data grabbing. When you compare it to Google Calendar, ETAR feels more personal. It's a calendar that doesn't want to know everything about you, just what your plans are, and that's refreshing. So those are our takes on the best Google app alternatives, each with its unique benefits and features. We hope this video gives you a good idea of the possibilities and helps you make the right choice for your needs. Let us know if you have any further questions or would like to share your thoughts in the comments below. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.